In this video we're going to solve some multiple step equations and hopefully if you've gotten to this point you've uh, you're comfortable with solving one-step equations and two-step equations. If not, uh, I would go back and watch those videos on one-step and two-step equations. So I have over here the steps for solving a multiple-step equation. And if you keep these three steps in mind, then even the most complicated equation uh, can be made much, much simpler by just doing one step at a time. So our first step is just to simplify on each side of the equal sign. All right, so the example we have is 18 minus 3 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 5 plus 2x minus 8. Now, sometimes when I'm first starting out teaching this, I might encourage students to, to draw a line with this equal sign, really reinforcing the idea that we do have two sides on this equal sign. And a lot of the rules apply to um, whether, a lot of the rules depend on whether uh, terms are on the same side or on opposite sides. So step one is to simplify on each side of the equal sign. I'm just going to focus on the left hand side and ask myself if there's anything that I can simplify over here. So hopefully you recognize this example of the distributive property. We have to take uh, negative 3 times the quantity x plus 4. So that means negative 3 has to be multiplied by both x and 4. And I'm saying negative 3 even though there's a minus here because remember subtraction is the same as adding a negative and if this is uncomfortable for you um, this idea of distributing a negative 3 you may want to change this minus to plus a negative just so you can remember to distribute that negative 3 if you're comfortable with this minus 3 representing a negative 3 then you know there's no need to do that alright let's see what we get here so we'll bring down the 18 we take negative 3 times x, that's negative 3x, and I'm going to write that as a minus 3x, but you could write it as plus a negative 3x, and then negative 3 times 4, that's negative 12, and again, I'm going to write this as minus 12. All right, now, on the right-hand side, <clears throat> I have 5 plus 2x minus 8. Is there anything I can simplify over there? Well, I can combine my like terms, which I have a 5 and a negative 8. Again, I'm saying negative 8. There's a minus 8 there. It belongs to that 8. So if I combine those together, 5 take away 8 is negative 3. And then I still have my positive 2x, so I'll bring that down. All right, back to the left-hand side. Maybe I should have finished that first, but it doesn't really matter as long as you simplify each side till it can't be simplified anymore. I have a similar situation as the right-hand side where I have some like terms. I have an 18, and then I have minus 3x, and I have minus 12. So I can combine the 18 and the minus 12. Those are both terms without an x. So if I do 18 take away 12, that's 6, positive 6. So I can write 6 minus 3x, which I'll do. Or if you wanted to, you could write negative 3x plus 6. You can switch this order if you want. I'll, I'll just write that. I'll erase it in a minute, but just so you can see. You could have written negative 3x, the negative 3x term first, and then positive 6. So you'd have to write plus 6. These two things are equivalent, and you can write it either way. And then be the same thing on the other side, where I wrote negative 3 plus 2x. I certainly could have written the two... Uh, 2x term first, and then I would have had a minus 3, like that. So either way you want to do it is fine. Okay, so let me bring down the equal sign, and on the right-hand side I have negative 3 plus 2x, and I can't simplify that any further because I have two terms and they're not like terms. This term has an x, this term doesn't have an x. Same thing on the left-hand side. So I'm done with step one, simplify on each side of the equal sign. I can't make it any nicer on either side. So now step two is to make sure the variable is on one side of the equal sign. And our variable is x, and we have got x's on the left-hand side and x's on the right-hand side. So what we want to do is get those x terms on the same side. So we have two choices. I could take this term negative 3x and I could get rid of it over here by adding 3x 
Now, if I add 3x to this side, it's going to make this 0, right? I'm not going to have any more x's over here, which is what I want. I want to have a side with no x's. If I add 3x on one side, I have to add 3x on the other side. So where should I put that 3x over here? Well, I'm going to combine it with the 2x, so I'm going to put it underneath the 2x term. Now, if I add 3x to both sides, this 6 is going to come down. These are gone. right? I don't have those anymore. It's 0. You could write plus 0 if you want, but what's 6 plus 0? It's just 6, so we'll just write 6. Bring down the equal sign. Now, on the right-hand side, I'll bring down the negative 3, and I have 2x plus 3x, so that would be 5 x. I said you had two choices at this point. Your other choice would have been to, instead of getting rid of the x's on the left hand, uh, right hand side, you could get rid of these x's, wait I said that backwards, instead of getting rid of the x's on the um, left hand side, which we did here, you could get rid of the x's on the right hand side. Did I get my left and my right correct that time? Um, anyway, you could have subtracted the two x's, and then that would have been 0, so you would have negative 3 on the right-hand side, and then on the left-hand side, you would have 6 minus 5x, because negative 3 take away 2 is negative 5. Now, either one of these equations will solve to give you the same value, and maybe we'll do that, just so you can see that for this first example. Okay, so that's step two. We've got our x's on the same side. So you basically accomplish that by adding an x term or subtracting an x term from each side. So now we're down to step three, which is to solve the remaining two-step equation. We want to get x by itself. So the first thing, and again, if you've watched those videos on two-step equations, I'm going to kind of assume you have an idea of two-step equations. If not, you should go back and watch the video on two-step equations. So I need to get rid of the negative 3 and the 5 to get x by itself. To get rid of the negative 3, I add 3 to both sides. So that gives me 9 equals 5x. And then I need to get rid of the 5. Since it's 5 multiplied by x, I need to divide by 5 to cancel those. And I'm not going to panic about this fraction. 9 fifths is the answer. Or I could change that to... Uh, improper fraction of 1 and 4 fifths or a decimal of 1.8 whatever suits your fancy those are all the same now if I would have done it the other way over here that I have I um, would have to get x by itself on the um, left hand side which means I'd want a minus 6 from both sides and that would give me negative 5x equals negative 9 then we would divide by negative 5 and those negative fives would cancel, so I would have x equals those negatives, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so I get nine fifths or one and four fifths, just like I did over here. Now, the reason that I would encourage you to do it um, this way over here is because your x term stayed positive. If you can keep your x term positive, here we have a positive five x then you're going to be dividing by a positive 5. Notice when we had a negative x term, we had to divide by a negative, and you just have more chance of messing up with a negative or losing a negative. So there we go, step 3, solve the remaining two-step equation. All right, so those are the steps. Let's have you try one on your own if you want to. I guess I'm. you can do it however you want. I'm going to put a, uh, another problem up there. And go through the steps. Make sure you go through these steps one, two, three. That'll help you keep everything organized. So here we go. Let's do negative 3x plus 7 plus 2x equals 6 times the quantity x minus 4 plus 10. So if you want to, pause the video, try it by yourself, and then turn the video back on and see how you did. That's a great way to practice. All right, so step one, we need to simplify on each side of the equal sign. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to get my x terms together. That will give me 7, and then negative 3 plus 2 is a negative 1x, which I'm just going to write as negative x. And there is a 1 there. You could write that 1 in there if you like it but it's, it's not necessary because 1 times x is just x. It's not wrong to write it. All right, equals, then I'm going to distribute the 6 
and that gives me 6x minus 24 plus 10. Now on the um, right hand side over here I can simplify and combine those two terms. So the left hand side is going to stay 7 minus x and on the right hand side I have 6x minus 14. Okay that's step one. Now step two I need to get my variable on one side of the equal sign. So I see I have a negative x here like a negative 1x and I have a 6x here. I'm going to go ahead and add x to each side. Now if you minus 6x that would still be okay or subtract it I guess I should say. So remember this is 1x, 6x plus 1x is 7x. Now I need to solve this two-step equation and get x by itself so I'm going to add 14 which is going to give me 21 equals 7x divide both sides by 7 and I get 3 equals x. That one came out nice. How'd you do? Hopefully pretty good. I forgot to check off there. Should we try one more? Let's do one more practice problem. Okay. How about 5 times the quantity 2x minus 1 minus parenthesis 3x minus 5 equals 7 minus 2x. Again, if you're comfortable, go ahead and pause the video, give it a try on your own, and then start up the video and see how you did. Alright, so on the right hand side it's pretty clean. 7 minus 2x. There's nothing I can do with that. So the left hand side is where I have some work to do for step 1, which is simplify on each side of the equal sign. I have to distribute this 5, and I also have to distribute into this parenthesis. I have to distribute a negative and sometimes it helps to write a 1 here and think about distributing a negative 1. What this means is we're subtracting everything in this parenthesis, so we have to subtract a 3x and subtract a negative 5, which is the same as multiplying by a negative 1. Let's see what we get here. We get 10x minus 5, and then negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x, and a negative 1 times a negative 5 is a positive 5. So I have a couple like terms. I have my 10x and my negative 3x. I also have a negative 5 and a positive 5, so I need to combine those together. 10x take away 3x would be 7x, and negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So I don't have those anymore. That's all I have left on the left-hand side is just 7x. On the right-hand side, I'll bring down what we started with because there's nothing to simplify there. So that's step one. Step two, get the variable on the same side. So I have a 7x and a negative 2x. Now, in this case, I, I really would want to add the 2x because if I minus the 7x, I'd have a 0 over here. and That's not bad. You could still solve it. Maybe I'll show you that. But this is going to make it faster. So if I add the 7x and the 2x, I get 9x. And then I could divide both sides by 9 those cancel and I get my answer of 7 ninths. That's the answer. Now from this step if you would have subtracted 7x from both sides that's fine, that's legal. What you do to one side do to the other. Usually when we um, do this 7x minus 7x we don't write the 0 because there's something else on on that side of the equal sign, but if there's nothing else over there, you have to write the zero. You gotta have something over there. So then we'd have seven minus nine x, negative two take away seven is negative nine. Now we would have had to either add the nine x over here or minus the seven. I guess we would minus the seven if we're thinking about getting x by itself. I'm gonna run out of room. We get negative seven equals negative nine x, and then we divide both sides by negative nine to get x by itself those cancel and these negatives cancel so I end up with x equals 7 ninths. So you get the same answer but it's a little bit messier. Alright well I hope that helped and uh, if nothing else write down these three steps and just focus on one step at a time and that should lead you to the right answer.